And hello everyone, this is a video on how to, uh, or not really how to, but sort of, um, tutorial on, uh, uh, how to connect this to the Android Developer Preview, uh, emulator, so you can, if you get a notification on the phone, it'll show up on the emulator on here. Uh, it's an Android Wear Developer Preview, um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first step you want to do is you want to go on internet, Google Chrome for example, and you want to go to uh, android.com slash where. Alright, see, android.com slash where. Then what you want to do, I already signed up for this, um, so you go down here and you say developer preview get the developer preview and what you have to do is sign up it might take four days for me it took four days um, it's kind of a pain in the butt um, so yeah but it to say said 24 hours it was actually like three to four days so just be prepared for a long wait um, so down here you can click at sign up you can grant access I was lucky I got the email yesterday so I was granted access to this stuff so I have all the directions on here and um, so first thing you want to do is you want to actually go back, actually open up a new tab, close the current tab you have, and uh, search up uh, Android Developer. Not Android Wear Developer, just Android Developer. Android Developer.android.com. Then what you want to do is scroll down and you say get the SDK then what you wanna this this one's free you don't have to sign up for this one um, so you download the SDK then what you wanna do you download it it comes up with a with a folder it's called ADT bundle and all that other crap and everything um, so ADT bundle open that and then what you wanna do is you wanna open up don't go any of these folders yet. Open up once you open this folder. Go into SDK Manager. Now give it some time to uh, come up. Uh, it might take about one minute or something like that. Actually, this one came up pretty fast. Maybe for the first time for years, for the first time, it might take a little while. Um, so then, what you want to do? So you have all these listings in here. What you want to do is you want to check this. Check all of these. So you check that. It'll check all of them for tools. You want to check all of Android 4.2.2. Check all of that. Oh no, sorry, 4.4.2, not 4.2.2. 4.4.2. So you want to check all of that, and you scroll all the way down, skip all this, scroll all the way down, and check all the extras too. And then you, what you want to do is you want to install packages. I already did it. Um, everything's working for me, so you don't. I don't have to do that. But you to go ahead and do that right now. So you can pause the video and go ahead and do that. Okay, now, <laughs> okay, ignore that, thank you. Um, so, uh, now, after you've done that, close out SDK Manager, and then go ahead and open up uh, Eclipse. Go ahead, purple circle there, open up Eclipse. Alrighty, so now it's going to ask, when you first come up with a clip, it's going to ask to create a new app. Go ahead and do that. Um, just kind of skip through it. I don't really care. Uh, if you want to create an app, go ahead. Um, just If you want to skip through it, uh, go ahead. Just keep on, just keep on like type random stuff or select random options and it'll let you grant access to get through to this screen, to the main homepage of everything, how to like all these widgets and how to create your application. Um, so on the top bar, once you get here, on the top bar, you're going to uh, go to, under the navigate bar, if it's there, you go here, Android, the virtual device manager. You want to click on that. Then what you want to do is you want to, I already did it, you want to click new. And then you just name it Android, for the AVD name, you want to name Android, where round or square so you type on for example I'm gonna type round don't put any spaces because otherwise it won't let you continue then for device 
uh, skip all of this, you want to go down. If you install those packages correctly from the SDK manager a little while ago, um, you should see Android Wear, Wear Round or Android Wear Square. I'm, when, if you want to do round, click round. If you want to do square, do, do click square. So click round. Then what you want to do, instead of Android, do for target, don't do Android 1.5. Go down and do Android 4.4.2 API level 19. And then what you want to do, that's correct, that you want to leave it like that. And then for uh, for skin, click here. And you want to go down and click Android Wear Round if you're doing round. Or do a square if you're doing square again. And then to make it boot up faster, if you want, if you, if you like close out of it and you want to, want it to boot up faster, click Snapshot. Um, I highly recommend it. It'll boot up within like seconds instead of it take two minutes for the stupid thing to eventually, you know, go. Um, and then after that, you click OK. Uh, all these options here, you want to have exact options um, and click OK. I'm not going to do it since I already have it. So now I'm going to do it. This is, this is the round. So I'm going to click on round and I'm going to click start. I'm going to click launch. So go ahead and launch it. Now I'm going to tell you how to connect your cell phone to this thing. So what you have to do in the email you got when you signed up for the Android uh, Android Wear developer, you say you have to opt in OPT. I don't know how to say that, but OPT in uh, for the app APK. So you click on the link and then it'll send you to the Play Store in browser. Don't do it through the app. Don't don't look at it on your phone. Go to like a PC or do it on your phone. I don't really care, but do it in a browser. Don't do it through the Play Store app, actual app, because you won't find the file there. Um, that's, I already had that problem before. So, what you want to do is you go into the br into the browser, click Chrome or whatever whatever browser you use, and then go and click the install and choose the device you want to install it on, and click install, and it's free and it'll work. Once you have that installed, go on your phone. This is currently going up here. Go on your phone. I want to glare, um, and then you should find out. It should install, and you click open, it should come up with this thing, Android Wear Developer Preview. And then, um, so, let me unplug this really quick. Uh, sorry. Alright, no wonder it's not working. Okay, um, when it, it comes out this, don't click connect yet. Leave emulator, there's no other option anyway. But leave it the way it is. Don't, uh, just click, just don't click connect yet. Okay, just don't click connect yet. And make sure you have a USB cable for your phone. Plug it into the USB port on the side of your computer. And then you'll be all good. Um, now I'm going to show you how it interlinks with this the emulator with this. Kind of like a, per, a smartwatch on a computer. Um, so... Right now, I think something's kind of being silly here. Sorry about that. It, it's just not, it's supposed to show like a device with a cross sign over it on that little circle there. Not supposed to show the Google sign. Closing out of it and restarting it. Okay. This time I'm not going to launch from Snapshot. Um, now what I'm going to do, while, while this is booting up, I'm going to minimize everything. And then I'm going to show you how, how you're going to connect this to that. So go ahead and load it up here. Minimize this. So this is actually an X out of it. It won't close out of everything. Open. Keep the clips open too. Okay. Now, what you're gonna want to do? Number one, in order to get this thing connected to the computer, make sure you have correct USB drivers. If you have a Samsung device, make sure you have install Samsung keys, which installs the drivers for you. 
um, or Kai's, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, um, make sure you have those direct drivers for your device you're connecting to your computer. Number two, um, go ahead and open up a command prompt. I'm just going to click Windows R, command. Oh, that's kind of weird. Go back really quick. Okay, so open up command prompt. And then what you want to do is you want to get the path to a certain folder you need. So I'll show you in the folder you downloaded for the uh, um, Android Wear preview, in the ADT bundle folder, you want to, in the home page of the ADT bundle folder, you want to go under SDK this time. And then you want to go under platform tools. And then you want to stay like that. Click up here. If you're using Windows and copy, copy the URL of to this folder. Go back. Now, in the command prompt, first you t first you're gonna type. Let me go really close here. First you're gonna type cd space. Then you're gonna do, and then you're gonna paste what it, what the URL you copied. Click enter. So now it has all this super long gibberish line of the whole URL of this, of the folder you need. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to type ADB, so you see that it kind of ends there, but you can see A and then DB.exe. You want to press tab and it should show ADB.exe. And then, and then you want to do space. Sorry if it's getting out of focus there, it's kind of a pain. Um, and you want to do, and you press space, and then you want to type devices. Click enter. If it, if it shows that, um, okay. So now, let's do devices, just the emulator. So it senses this emulator down here that's running. Let me go over here. So the emulator is running successfully. Um, I didn't want to close out of it, so you minimize that. So it it sees the emulator as a device, which is good. You want that. Now plug in. Make sure you have drivers for this. Make sure plug in your device to the US through USB. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, just get out of that. Alrighty, so now I have a Samsung device. Make sure you have, if you have a Samsung device, make sure you have Samsung drivers with Samsung keys or keys. I don't know how they say it. Whatever. Then once you plug your device in, issue the same as that command again. adb.exe space and press space and then devices. Issue that again. Now it should see two. It should say device and device emulator and eight five five six six nine seven. 798. The random number one is your is your cell phone or your device you're connecting to your computer. The emul the uh, emulator dash five 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 four is the emulator you're running for this for this thing right here. This is the let's see five 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 four Android Wear whatever. Yeah. Um. So that's good. Everything's all right. Now what you want to do? I think I can't exactly do whatever here. One second. Where I need I need I need to get a code thing. I can't remember exact. It's like gibberish stuff. All right, let's see. All right, so will you want to after the command after that you issue that command with devices, you want to put in this command right here: adb space dash d space forward space tcp colon 5601 space TCP colon 5601. I'm going to go and copy that. Go back into command prompt. And then what you want to do is you, in the same exact directory here, you want to uh, paste it. So once everything is all right here, you're all good. Uh, go. I'll put. I'll probably copy and paste the code in the description so you can easily find it. Um, and I'll put the link to the developer preview, and everything. So yeah. Um, 
so we'll go ahead and once you have done that I pasted it in it looks like it already clicked enter for me so once it clicks enter it should it shouldn't say anything it'll just skip a little black space and then it would say the same exact thing again but nothing would change but it actually did something change so if it did that it worked okay so we do is just minimize it just in case minimize that minimize this so every, that stops clean okay now we want to go back into go back into here then what you want to do, go back to your device and go down here and click and go into Android Wear Preview, the app I was showing you before. Then what you want to do is click Connect. So before you click Connect, before you click Connect, you're going to see see on the, the emulator on your screen, uh, on your computer, you're going to see this cross sign over like some kind of phone thingy. You click on it, it doesn't do anything, it's weird. Um, that means your device is not connected to it. Now, if you click connect on your app, now it's connected and look at that. Boom! I just got an email from some emails. I'm getting some emails through. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So if you didn't uh, do that command prompt thing, it would not work because it has somehow, somehow it has to do some forwarding of port IPs and everything. You have to do some port forwarding IPs and everything. Um, make sure you do whatever I did in this video, otherwise it will not work. So as you can see, you have all these notifications. So it'll, it'll be easier on a touch screen. It's not a touch screen, but I have a trackpad. So you swipe, you move up, and you can see the email. You swipe to the left. You can click open. That's actually it. Um, click open. If you click open, let me quickly go on my device here. So here's the home screen. If you click open, it opens it on your on your device. And there's my dad. He texted me too. If I can do the same exact thing, I can actually um, kind of frozen up. It's 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 emulator. Just kind of deal with it. It's kind of frozen right now. Just give it a second. So as you can see, that I uh, email open when I clicked open. So now, on the, if you have a, like a text message, you can do that. Swipe to the right, open it, and it'll open on your phone. Same with 1W Weather. It's my weather app. It's kind of weird. It's glitched. I uh, actually can't do anything on it. So you, the only thing you do is just swipe down. No, I, I meant, sorry, swipe to the right, and it'll clear the notification. Yeah, um, so, I mean, this is a pretty cool... Uh, feature thing uh, that you can do with this. So just follow whatever I did in the video and follow also follow the directions online. I'll give you the link in the description and everything and the code for the command prompt and port forwarding all that crap. Um, and do whatever I did and you'll have you'll be successful. Um, yeah, uh, just make sure you have all the right drivers for your device you're plugging into and make sure you did whatever I did. That's pretty much it. So um, yeah, goodbye and see you later.